Hello and welcome to this video. This video is all about the latest Windows 10 update in April, which is version 1803.1. Um, basically, a lot of people have complained about issues regarding Chrome, um, Cortana, Outlook and freezes, glitches, a lot, a lot of complaints. Now, Microsoft did mention that with its latest cumulative update, which was yesterday on the 8th of May, these bugs should have been fixed. If they have not, we have a solution that should get you back to your original state and give Microsoft some time to sort out the issues with 1803 and then you can then update with confidence at a later time. So, the first thing you need to do is go to settings. So basically just click over here and then that'll bring up settings. And then basically what you want to do is go to update and security and then recovery. And we want to go back to the previous version of Windows 10. You will get a little questionnaire saying what's the reason why you are going back. You might want to say earlier build was more reliable faster, um, apps and devices used to work, other reasons, and you could go on. Okay, um, we'll just click this and just click next. And you might wanna check for updates. We've already updated our system, so everything's fine, but you might wanna click this. Then over here it says, okay, you might Okay, or you'll have to reinstall some apps and programs as a possibility. Okay, you'll lose any changes made to settings after installing this latest build. Okay, that's a possibility. Make sure you backed up your data. Um, generally, what we've found is things go quite smoothly. However, please bear this in mind. Click next. Okay, click next. Go back to earlier build. And Basically, after it reset it, it went to a black screen and just said restoring your previous version, took a bit of time, and then it just started up into the previous version. And if you type Winver, okay, it'll open up this window, and as you can see, we've gone back to 1709. That was working quite happily for us. Okay. Now, once you've reached this point, you don't want Windows Update to suddenly reinstall version 1803 right now. Give it some time, let them sort all the bugs, etc., and then you might want to update to that version. So how do we stop it from going there? Let's see. Go to settings and then update and security. Click advanced options. And then basically what you want to do is a feature update includes new capabilities improvements. It can be deferred for this many days. You might want to defer it for the maximum 365. Okay. Now you can obviously do it less. What I would suggest is just keep an eye on the news and see if there's any reports of it getting better. 1803. Once they've sorted that out, my guess is probably within a month or so probably tops then you can just remove that go back to zero and then choose to update the feature update and that's that now the other method let's assume in the previous part you were able to start up windows okay but once you log in it's extremely slow it crashes etc but at least you're able to get into this login page okay so what you need to do is hold down the shift button whilst you're doing this keep keep it pressed go there and then still whilst holding shift press restart restart anyway and now you can let go of the shift button you will see it boots up to this what you want to do now is go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then go back to the previous version, and then go back to the previous version, and then you'll see this 
black screen like I mentioned before and then once this finishes you'll be back to version 1709. Okay, and then don't forget to set the time for the number of days that you want to pause the feature updates. Okay, thank you for watching and hopefully these videos have helped.